Hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my uh, briefing for Chapter 14 of the Pinkham book, um, Django Unleashed. Uh, chapter 4 is called uh, Pagination, a Tool for Navigation. And um, it's really a honey of a chapter. The, the Django uh, pagination uh, features are uh, pretty straightforward. They're really handy. Uh, and in this uh, chapter, uh, Pinkham uh, decides that there are two of the lists that he has in his uh, tutorial. The startup list, which is a list of startup uh, companies, and the tag list, which is a list of tags being used to tag uh, startups and blog posts, that uh, they're going to be long enough that they need to be paginated. And uh, he gives us uh, two different approaches to, uh, to uh, the, um, the URL of uh, uh, pagination. And uh, uh, he shows us an example of each. Okay, and the decision is uh, this. Okay, we already know how to uh, form the URL that says that we want a uh, a list, a tag list, uh, for instance, or a uh, startup list. And so the question is, uh, do we want to uh, put further information into the URL itself? to say that, uh, oh, and we want uh, page four of that? Or do we want to uh, essentially leave the URL alone and add a parameter that says, uh, well, we just want to have this uh, parameter modify the request that we're making with the URL to say, oh, and by the way, we want page four. And um, uh, Pinkham says that he prefers uh, the latter, which is actually the first one he shows us how to do, uh, which is to say that um, he doesn't want to muck with the URL. Um, he wants to uh, he wants to add a parameter onto the uh, onto the uh, the get as 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 the request uh, comes through the HTTP. HTTP uh, get, uh, and that's the way he gets this done. Um, that's the way I like to do it, and so that's the only way that we're going to practice in our tutorial, um, uh, the tutorial that I uh, created at uh, Easy University. So um, I'm really not going to show you the, the two full versions of this. He does the typical thing where he uh, he kind of uh, shows us a sort of a simple version of the code and then he refines it a bit and then refines it a bit more. Uh, by the time we get done, uh, he has our um, our view code um, looking pretty good. This gives you an idea of what the view code is going to look like right here in 14.22. Uh, uh, so we change the view code. Because we're not mucking with the URL code, we don't have to make changes to uh, urls.py. Because uh, the URL is going to be the same. Uh, it's going to be mapped to the view. And we're going to pick up the uh, parameter uh, from uh, the request. And we're going to be able to do that in the view. So that's where that's going to get done. And um, he, uh, he refines this uh, until um, we're doing a lot of work in the view. And he's got, let's see, what's the final version of this? Let's see if we can find it. He gives us all these kind of fragments of this. And um, what it comes right down to is 
uh, we could do a lot of the uh, decision making about how to accommodate, oh, just where we are in the sequence of pages. Are we on the first one or are we on the last one or are we, uh, uh, what exactly is going on? Um, you could be tempted to do this uh, computing in the, uh, in the template. And what he really has us do is to do it in the view. And for uh, those of us who really uh, believe in uh, separation of concerns and um, uh, the Django architecture as it is inspired by, by model view controller uh, architecture, well, this makes a lot of sense. You really want to do as much of the lifting in, in the view as you possibly can. You really want the the uh, templates to be as uh, simple and dumb as they can possibly be. And that's uh, the version that we uh, finish with uh, uh, here. Uh, so he doesn't really have one good version here where you can see all the code. This is a, a pretty good version of the the uh, view code that he finishes up with and the um, let's see where we are and this uh, here is a pretty good version of the template code this uh, 14 dot uh, 52 so those of you who are in the class uh, um, this is the approach that we're going to be taking in easy university and um, I hope to see you there. Other than that, I'm just going to say bye. Bye-bye.